was down in the world Doing as I please Look where you brought from I don't know about you, but I have a testimony. I was down in the world, doing as I please, but look where you brought me from. Mighty long way, Lord, mighty long way. Mighty long way, Lord, mighty long way. Look where you brought me from. Mighty long way. Mighty. Mighty long way, Lord, mighty long way. Mighty long way. Mighty long way, Lord. Mighty long way, mighty long way, mighty long way, Lord. Mighty. Mighty long way. Look where you brought me from. Brought me from. A mighty long way, mighty long way, Lord. Mighty long way. Look where you brought me from. Look where you brought me from. A mighty long way, mighty long way. Look where you brought me from. Mighty long way. Look where you brought me from. Where you brought me from. A mighty long way. Mighty long way, Lord. Mighty long way. Come on, somebody, celebrate the fact that you are here because of the Lord. The song says, how great is our God. And all will see just how great is his name. We're going to sing that song this morning. It says, the splendor of a king, clothed in righteousness, let all the earth rejoice. How great is our God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We worship you, God. You are great, God. You are mighty, God. You are powerful, God. Oh, we worship you. Oh, here we go, everybody. Worship the splendor of the king. The splendor of a king, uh, he was clothed in majesty. Let all the earth, let all the earth rejoice. Let all the earth rejoice. He wraps himself in light, and darkness tries to hide, and darkness tries to hide. Trembles at his heart, but trembles at his voice. But trembles at his voice. Come on, them. how great is it? How great is our God? Is our God. Sing with me. Sing with me. How great is our God? Is our God. Oh, we'll see. Oh, we'll see how great. How great. How great is our God. Is our God. One more time. Say how great is how great is our God. Just shout is our God. The song says, age to age he stands, and time is in his hands. Say, age to age he stands, time is in his hands. And time is in his hands. Beginning and the end, beginning and the end. The God of three and one. The God is three in one. Father, the Spirit and Son. the Spirit and Son. The Lion and the Lamb. The Lion and the Lamb. The Lion and the Lamb. Oh, come on, worship God in this room. How great, how great is our God. Is our God. Sing with me. Sing with me. How great is our God. Oh, we'll oh, see. Is our, is our God. If you know that he's a great God, come on, raise up in the room and say, how great is our God. How great is our God. Is our God. Sing with me, how great is our God. Is our God. Oh, we'll see. Oh, we'll see how great. How great. How great. Is our God. You're the name above all names. Say it. You're the name above all names. You are worthy. And 
my heart will sing. How great is our God. Hey, yeah. You're the name, you're the name above. Oh, come on, help me sing. You are worthy. And my heart will sing. And my heart will just how great. Shaka. Oh, come on, sing it like you mean it. You're the name. Come on, say it. You're the name above. You are worthy, God. And my heart will sing. And my heart will just shout. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, your name is above all names. Your name is above all names. You're worthy of my praise. You're worthy of all our praise. Mighty are the works of your hand. Come on, say that. Your name is above all names. Your name is above all names. You're worthy of my praise. You're worthy of all our praise. Mighty are the works of your hands. Mighty oh, come on, testify, say. Come on, somebody say that. Mighty are the works of God's hands. Mighty are the works of your hands. Mighty are the works of God's hands. One more time. Your, your name is above my name. Your name is above all names. Worthy of all. Come on, shout God. Mighty are the works of your hand. Mighty are the works of your hand. Say, mighty are the works of God's hand. Come on, somebody say it. Mighty are the works of God's hand. Mighty are the works of your hand. Mighty are the works of your hand. Mighty, 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 mighty. Mighty are the works of your hand. Say, mighty are the works of God's hands. Mighty are the works of God's hands. Mighty are the works of God's hands. Mighty are the works of your hands. Mighty are the works of your hands. Mighty, 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 mighty. Mighty are the works of your hands. How great. Come on, say it. It's our Everybody in the building, shake. Sing with me, how great. If you know that you serve a great God, just open your mouth in this building and begin to testify. He is great, I know. How great is our God. Sing with me, is our God. Oh, come on, sing. How great, how great is our God. Let's begin to open the mouth and worship God. Say, the Lord our God is a great God. Oh, come on, say that. The Lord our God is a great God. Everybody say, the Lord our God is a great God. Oh, come on, say it. The Lord our God is a mighty God. The Lord our God is a mighty God. The Lord our God is a mighty God. Everybody say, Great God. Great God. Great God. Great God. The Lord our God is a big God. The Lord our God is a big God. The Lord our God is a big, big God. 
Come on, somebody say it. The Lord our God is a big God. The Lord our God is a big God. Everybody say, Great God. Great God. Great God. Great God. The Lord our God is a great God. Say, Worship God in this atmosphere. Great God. 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 He is great, I know. Come on, worship God in this atmosphere. He is great, I know. Come on, open your mouth and say that thing. He is great, I know. Hey, great God. He is great, I know. He is great, I know. He is great, I know. He's been a great God. He's been a great God. He's been a great God. He's a healer, I know. Woo. My defender, I know. A way maker, I know. Hey, great God. He is great, I know. I know, I know, I know. He's great, I know. He is great, I know. He's a great God. Do I have any witnesses in this room that can lift your hand and say, He's great, I know. He is great, I know. You are great, I know. You are a great God. You're the God that answers by fire. You're the God that answers by fire. You're the God that answers by fire. You are great. 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 I, I, I know. He's the one that opens red seas. <laughs> He's the one that parts of the Red Sea. He is great. Great I know. Great I know. Do I have about two people in this room that can lift your hands in this place and say, He is great. I know it. He is powerful, I know it. He is great. 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 He is great, I know, I know, I know. I just know it, I just know it. He is great, I know. 
He is great, I know. He is great, I And all the earth will shout his praise. Our hearts will cry. These bones will sing. Great are you, Lord. And all the earth, all the earth, all the earth will shout your praise. Our hearts will cry. This bone will sing. Great. Are you Lord? He's great, I know. He is great, I know. He is great, I know. He is great, I know. I don't know what you're facing this morning, but I need to remind somebody today that He is great, I know. He is great, I know. He is great and no. He is great and no. He is the God that answers by fire. He is the God that answers by fire. Just look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, I know you got your mask on, but do you know that he's great? Look at somebody else and say, do you know that he is great? but I sense that someone needs to be reminded of the greatness of God. Let your glory fill this place. Suming fire. And let your power. Yeah. 
Help me, help me, help me. Help me tap into an atmosphere. Help me tap into an atmosphere. Consuming fire. Consuming fire. Unless you're powerful. Yahweh. Come on, come on, come on, that's it. Come on, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. Yahweh. Yahweh. Woo! Yahweh. Come on, open your mouth and say it. Yahweh. Everybody open up your mouth and hear it. Say Yahweh. Yahweh. Somebody shout Yahweh. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Somebody shout Yahweh. Somebody shout Yahweh. Somebody shout Yahweh. Everybody open your mouth. Who is the king? 
Only because, Only because you, you move a mountain. You move mountains. You cause war. You cause war to fall. With your power. With your power. Perform the miracle. Perform miracle. There is nothing. There is nothing. That's impossible. That's impossible. Standing in. Standing in. Only. Only because you move. You move. You move.
Yes, we will, we will, we will, we will, we will. And your friend. We will. It's forever in my mind. Oh, great God. Oh, great God. Oh, great God. I will bless his name. I will bless you at all times. Oh, great God. 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 Lord, hallelujah, hallelujah. We enter into his house today. We came with a pushing pass, praise, a pushing pass. Uh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what principalities are powers. It doesn't matter what assignments. Uh, it doesn't matter what giants uh, may be standing. Uh, it doesn't matter what I mean set up, organize, and arrange uh, uh, to stop what from passing. But we are pushing past. We are pushing past. Uh, we are pushing things over. We are pushing things out the way. Uh, uh, we are blooding things out. We are blooding things past. Uh, we are pushing our way. Uh, our past, every giant, every setback, every disappointment, every sound, every great, every pain. Oh, we are pushing past. In the name of the
Because he has brought us, he has brought us, he has brought us. <laughs> uh, there's a praise because he brought us out. Uh, there's a praise because he brought us over. <laughs> there's a praise because he brought us through wherever we may be today. <laughs> uh, we are not without a praise. We are not without a hallelujah. <laughs> we are not without a shout. We are not without a glory. <laughs> oh, all because, hallelujah. all because. <laughs> All because he has brought us, he has brought us, he has brought us out. He has brought us over, and he has brought us to, and he has given unto us the victory. The victory, the victory due to his son, uh, to his son. So we magnify, we glorify, honor and exalt his great and wonderful name. He has given unto us another great privilege. Whereby we can be in his house, amen, amen, amen. In spite of adversities, in spite of challenges and uh, uh, different uh, situations, we have pressed our way. We have pressed our way. We have made uh, our way to the house of the Lord yet another day to sing praises and to give glory. Uh, to sing praises and to give worship. To sing praises uh, and to give honor. We magnify your great and wonderful name. Your great and exalted name. Uh, welcome to Grace Deliverance Church of God. Amen, amen, amen. Uh, a place where the oil of the anointing flow and the power of God manifest, heal, and deliver. A special welcome to those who are visiting in the house today. Amen. Choice greetings to one and all, to all the leaders. Minister Odin for leading us in such praise and worship with the praise team, the musicians, the ushers, the technicians, each and every one today. Amen. We give God thanks for those on social media, radio land, wherever you may be. I release you the priestly blessings today. Amen. For there's a blessing as there's a blessing for one, there's a blessing for all. In the 48th Psalm, the psalmist said, Great is the Lord, great is the Lord, great is the Lord. Is anybody aware of that today? Is anybody who entered the house with that consciousness today? Is there anybody uh, 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 on social media who is aware and conscious of, of the fact that your situation may be looking great uh, and circumstances around you may be looking Looking great, maybe greater than you can handle. Uh, but the word said, Great is the Lord. <laughs> uh, great is the Lord. He's greater than our circumstances. <laughs> He's greater than our situations. He's greater than our giants. <laughs> He's greater than our adversities. <laughs> oh, that somebody will get a hold of that today and open up their mouth ah, and said, Great. In, I speak it in the ears of the enemy. I speak in the ears of devils. I speak in the ears of the giants. That great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. 
We got to increase the praise. We got to increase the praise. The, the psalmist said that praise is not enough. Uh, that psalmist said that praise is not enough. The psalmist said uh, uh, such a great God uh, deserve great praise. Uh, uh, great is the Lord and greatly, 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 uh, and greatly to be praised. Uh, the praise need to be more. Uh, the praise need to be exceedingly, uh, abundantly, uh, uh, far beyond uh, because we serve a great God. With a strong hand and an outstretched arm, he delivered his people out of the hands of Pharaoh, crossed them over the Red Seas, and gave them the victory. What he has done for them, he has also uh, done for us. So we should give him the praise. We should give him the glory, the honor, because he's worthy, he's worthy, he's worthy. I am comfortable where I am. I am in the front line. I am in the front line. I'm in the front line. But I'm comfortable where I am. I am confident where I am. Because where I am, the greatest, the greatest are gathered around where I am. Uh, Satan best are gathered where I am but I am comfortable where I am because my God is where I am and my God is greater than all the forces than all the assignments than all the principalities and powers my God is greater oh that somebody that somebody would open their mouth and shout let the enemies hear you my God is great you see folks look at us we look poor we look pauperized, we look poverty stricken. <laughs> we look like we don't have much, we look like we are helpless. As God had looked at David, this little stripling, this little boy, don't own a house, don't own a car, don't own a gun, don't even have a machete, own nothing. This little stripling, where is he coming from? Who is this a little stripling? Look at him and curse at him and said, who is this little stripling? What do you think he's doing? What do you think he's trying? Ah, because ah, folks, ah, Goliath did not understand that David was not coming alone. Goliath did not understand that it was not by might, it was not by power, but it was by the spirit. It was by the spirit of God. The giants will know, the giants will know that it's not by their might, it's not by their power, it's not by their curse word and their swearing, but it is by the spirit, it's by the anointing, it is by the power of God, it is by the Holy Ghost, it is by the grace. Huh. Our God is awesome. We are in September. We are in the prophetic month of the open door. The open door, the open door. <laughs> Glory to God. <laughs> The doors that was paid to stay shut. Let me leave that. <laughs> Uh, doors that was paid. Uh, uh, gods that were hired uh, uh, to keep uh, doors shut uh, and to make sure uh, that they stay shut. <laughs> Prophetic word. <laughs> Open doors that was paid to stay shut uh, and remain shut. Shut in our faces. Shut behind us. Shut against us. To stop us. 
to hinder us, to prevent us. But thanks be to God today. I feel a spirit in this place. I feel a spirit in this place. And it is the spirit of the open door. It is the spirit of the open door. It is the spirit of the open door. Ah, glory. Hallelujah. Joel, Joel, Joel chapter 2. Joel chapter 2. The 22nd verse and following. And it reads thus. Be not afraid, ye beast of the field, for the pastures of the wilderness do spring, for the trees beareth her fruit, and the fig tree and the vine do yield it their strength. Be glad then, ye children of Zion, and rejoice in the Lord your God, for he hath given you the former rain uh, moderately, and he will cause to come down for you the rain, the former rain, the latter rain. <laughs> Uh, in the first month, and the floor, the floors uh, shall be full of wheat, and the vats shall overflow with wine and oil. And I will restore to you the years that the locust has eaten, the canker worm, and the caterpillar, and the palmer worm, my great army, which I sent among you. Ye shall eat in plenty. And be satisfied. And praise the name of the Lord your God. For he has done wondrously with you. And my people shall never be ashamed. And he shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. And I am, in, I am the Lord your God. And none else. And my people shall never be ashamed. And it shall come, and it shall come to pass afterward uh, that I will pour out of my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters uh, shall prophesy, your old men uh, shall dream dreams, uh, your young men shall see uh, visions, uh, and also upon the servants and upon the handmaids in those days uh, will I pour out my spirit. And I will show wonders in the heavens and in the earth and, fi fi and fire and pillars of smoke. And the sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood. Before the great and terrible day of the Lord come and it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call and the name of the Lord shall be delivered. For in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem shall be deliverance, as the Lord has said, and in the remnant whom the Lord has called. Father, we thank you for your words, and we thank you that they are yea and that they are amen. We thank you that your words, they are spirit-filled and they are anointed. We thank you that your words, within there is life, there is hope, there is healing, there is deliverance, and there is miracles. Father, as I stand in this pulpit, in this holy place today, I lift up prayers and I give you worship and give you glory. I give you honor, I give you praise, and I give you thanks. And I ask of thee now, God, that everything that you intend for your words to be accomplished will be accomplished this day. Everything that you intend that you the preach word, oh God, to be accomplished, that it will be accomplished wherever your people may be today. We pray, my God, that you will move in the realms and move in the supernatural and release fresh download and clear the elements and the atmosphere. I will lift up prayers and open fire and blood up and confound and defeat and destroy the armies of the alien, the bonds of wickedness and the gates of hell. Every assigned force to hinder, to resist and to oppose our healing and deliverance and miracles. We open wildfire upon her, we blood upon, we charge upon her, we rebuke upon, we curse upon 
We trample upon, we crush upon. Almighty oh, God, we scatter them now. I release your consuming fire. A God to consume every asakalabo shak on the rubber. Every asande kata. Mighty God, every assignment of black magic and witchcraft and evil intelligence are coming out of the magical kingdom of darkness. We lift up prayers and interrupt and disrupt and blood up. I destroy chains and shackles, oh God. Kick every lock doors open. We break into restricted areas, into control areas, into occupied territories, interrupt and disrupt uh -huh. plots and plan devices, uh -huh. A will and work network, uh -huh. operations and operators, oh God. Every coming after spirit, every coming after demon, every coming after devils, every coming after assignment, every assignment sent out to come after your people. I lift up prayers and open fire and rip a calabush and release the sword of the spirit and confound and slay and defeat and consume and destroy by your open fire I establish the bloodline a line of protection and defense over your people oh God by the anointing and by the power of the Holy Ghost you will deliver us from all evil deliver us from all evil for then is the kingdom, the power, and the glory. Release the power and the glory now in your kingdom. Let there be a great outpouring and a great manifestation, O oh God. By the blood, by the blood, by the blood. By the fire, and by the anointing. Let the Pentecostal, Holy Ghost, anointing fire engulf this place now. Engulf the elements and the atmosphere. The firmament, oh God, that all demons and devils, assignment and devices will be consumed with your fire. And your people will be free to worship we intercept every arrow we blood up every arrow we curse and consume every arrow push back on their army we push back on their army we push back on their network we blood back we attack back we rebuke back we charge back we confront back we defeat and destroy by the power of the Holy Ghost and by the blood of Jake and of Oshak on the rubber. We interrupt and disrupt and blood up and confound and confuse and torment and terrorize and defeat and destroy chains and shackles assignment of plots and plans in the name of Jesus. Oh, we blood on and blood up and blood back and blood out in the name of Jesus. Are we coming after giant? Are we coming after giant? Are we coming after strong man and strong woman? Blood, sword, and fire be released upon them now in the name of Jesus, mighty God. Release the fire of your nostril. Release the fire indignation of your nostril today, God, to consume and to confound, to release your people and to set your people free. Oh, we pray and we ask it in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. For he is a mighty God of war. 
He's a mighty God of war. I said he's a mighty God of war. And he's a mighty teacher. And he's a great teacher. It was a psalmist said who teach it. He teach it my hands to war and my fingers to fight. It was a psalmist who said he gave me a leap. And because he gave me a leap, I was able to leap over the wall. He gave me a run. And because he gave me a run, I was able to run through the troop. And I say to somebody today that God has given you a leap. Whatever your situation may be, whatever your challenges may be, whatever your struggles may be, whatever the assignment may be, I hear in the realms of the spirit, in the prophetic, that God said he has given unto you a leap. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. The psalmist said, by my God, by my God, by my God. Oh, glory to God. By my God, by my God. Hey, the psalmist was excited and happy to brag and to boast and to talk about his God while others were talking about their God. While others were bragging and boasting about their God. The psalmist was happy to talk about his God. He said, by my God, I run to, I run to. I run to the troops. I leaped over the wall. I break up the bow of steel. I confound my enemies. I defeated, I slay them all. By my God. Hey. And my God shout. And my God praise. And my God testimony. And my God. Hallelujah today. Unto my God, unto my God, unto my God. <laughs> uh, for my God has done it for me. <laughs> my God has raised me up. <laughs> my God has given unto me the victory. <laughs> my God has turned <laughs> for me my mourning <laughs> into dancing. My God <laughs> has put off my sockcloth <laughs> and girded me with gladness. <laughs> my God has defeated my enemies and my foes. My God has turned his hand against my adversaries. My God has given me a praise that is above, that is above. My God has anointed my head with fresh oil and filled my cup and run it over. My God has made a way even where there was no way. Oh my my God, my God, my God, my God has done it. He brought me over, he brought me out. My God gave me a song in the night season and all, and all, and all, and all. <laughs> And all the day long, all the day long, all the day long. Uh, uh, glory to God. A happy anniversary to Brother Sims, not Mother Sims. Many blessings be upon them. 34 years. 34 years and counting. Happy, 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 happy anniversary today. We celebrate them. Amen. And this their anniversary day. Amen. Amen. It's with sadness we announce the passing of Sister Janet Shaw one of our first generation and members here at Grace, the grandmother of Brother Nikhu, amen. She has passed on to be with the Lord. We pray the strength of the family. And most of the first generation members would have remembered her very well. Pray the strength of the family in these challenging times of bereavement. We have a word before us today, and the word that we have before us, it is the prophetic word of the Lord. The, the, the prophet Joel, one of the minor prophets, but the word that he brought to us today is not minor. It's a major word. It's a major word, a major word. And the prophet started out in the quote of the text today. And in the context, we saw the prophet started out with a word of encouragement to the beast of the field. Is there anybody who understands and know that God cares about even the beast of the fields? 
Is there anybody who understands that the Bible said not even one sparrow will fall to the ground because God takes care of them all. God supply the needs of even the very ant and the worms that God is a provider of all things and the source of all things. So I would I believe it was a time when drought has hit the land and the beast of the fields that they also they were going through and they were experiencing hey, some great challenges and it, it would have seen as if uh, uh, death was knocking at their doors uh, and it would have seemed as if everything was now uh, uh, dark and hopeless and gloomy uh, when God sent the word uh, through his prophet to the bees uh, of the field encouraging the bees uh, uh, telling the bees uh, so hang in there hang in there hang in there oh glory to God hey, what a mighty God we serve hey, God told the prophet go tell the bees uh, hang in there, our better days are coming. Hang in there for your situation is about to change. Hang in there or something good is about to happen. Oh my God, if God, if God, if God could have done that for the beast, what about you and I? If God could have sent a prophetic word of hope and encouragement to the beast of the field, what about his people? What about Mount Zion? What about the people of his house? Do we have a reason today to take hope? Do we have a reason uh, to encourage ourselves? Do we have a reason uh, to rejoice in spite of how it look, how it seems and how it might happen? Do we have a reason today? The beast were fearful that they were going to die because the drought was severe. The drought was so severe. But a word of hope came to the, the beast of the field. Ah, be not afraid. He beast of the field for the pastures. The pastures of the wilderness. They are springing again. They are springing again. They are springing again. Oh, tell somebody it is springing again. It is springing again. It is springing again. Oh, hallelujah. The drought is over. The drought is over. The dark days is over. Ah, the days of barrenness and hopelessness is over while the, the fields are springing again and as we embark upon the prophetic word of the prophetic door I hear the spirit of the Lord said sister Nicole to tell the bees that new doors have been opened new doors have been opened oh glory to God our new doors have been opened our doors that never opened before have now been opened and I hear God said to tell my people also that not only to the bees but also to my people new doors have been opened doors that never opened before have now been opened access that never granted before have now been granted opportunities that was never presented itself before have now presented itself I hear the Holy Ghost say new door into new abundance new door into new favor new door into new blessings new door into new increase oh set the Lord God of hosts for the parched ground the dry ground the thirsty ground, the hard ground, in the wilderness, uh, something is happening because they are springing, they are springing, they are springing again. It was Job in chapter 14 who said if a tree be cut down, if a tree be cut down at the sense of water, at the sense of water, it will bud again. It will put again. Can I get somebody to 
understand there are a few more minutes in this place that waters have found your root that waters have found your root living waters have found your root waters of hope has found your root waters of life waters of increase waters of prosperity rabah waters of deliverance waters of healing living waters have found your root though you be cut down though your stock may be dry yet you will not yet you will not yet you will not perish yet you will not disappear yet you will not be forgotten yet you will come again oh you will come again oh that somebody would knock their breast today and say to themselves I will come again I will come again or I can feel water running on my root flowing on my root I can smell the scent of water today I have a tree be cut down oh glory to God so many of you have been cut down by assignment and devices cut down by enemies and foes cut down by low blows cut down by circumstances and situations cut down by disappointment but I hear the Holy Ghost say to tell you you will come again I water cut down by bad relationship broken marriage broken heart wounded spirit but the Holy Ghost said water has found your root water is flowing on your root and you will you will you will you will born again you will spring forth you will bring forth bows against financially marital glory bows oh Shekinah glory bows oh glory to God the Bible the Bible the Bible said new doors shall be open unto the tree that is cut down and water will flow through the door and rush to the root and the tree will bud again and bring forth boughs oh glory to God the tree will flourish again in the court of our God go ahead and worship him for the waters that now flow at your feet. The pastors of the wilderness do spring. They are springing. They are springing. Tell somebody they are springing. <laughs> uh, tell somebody. <laughs> you may not see it, but they are springing. <laughs> you may not believe it, but they are springing. They are springing. <laughs> they are springing. <laughs> For the tree bear it. The tree bear it. <laughs> the tree bear it her fruit. The fig tree <laughs> and the vine <laughs> do yield it their strength. <laughs> A provision. <laughs> A provision. Tell somebody. <laughs> provision is on the way. <laughs> provision is on the way. <laughs> For the fruit. <laughs> For the fruit. <laughs> For the fruit, for the trees, bear at her feet. Oh, tell somebody, provision, new doors, new doors, open doors are set before you. A door of provision, a door of provision, a door of abundance, doors of increase, prophetic door, prophetic door. I prophesy over you. I prophesy I prophesy in your life. I prophesy in your family. I prophesy in your bank account. I prophesy in your business. I prophesy in your ministry. I prophesy on your job. I prophesy in your marriage. I prophesy a new door, new door, new door. New door, new door, new door. New door, said the Lord. I prophesy it is happening, it's happening, it's happening, it's happening, it's happening, it's happening. New strength.
strength, new strength, new strength, new strength. Oh, glory to God. I just saw, I rush, I rush, I have new strength. I just saw, I release, I have new strength, and I rush, I have new strength, rushing out of an open door, rushing up on a bush, rushing up on you, rushing in you, rushing in your life, rushing in your family, new strength. Strength for the journey, new strength to handle the adversities, the circumstances. Oh, that somebody would open their mouth and shout, New strength! The fig tree and the vine. Do yield that their strength, their strength, their strength. The fig tree and the vine is receiving new strength. And God said as the fig tree and the vine is receiving new strength, so is my people. So is my people. So is my people receiving new strength. Oh, there is a prophetic increase. There's a prophetic door open. Uh, God said I've set before you uh, a prophetic door uh, a prophetic door uh, oh can I talk to the church uh, oh can I talk to somebody uh, oh the Holy Ghost said uh, somebody uh, is waiting to see the door open uh, before they will move uh, but God said just start walking uh, and keep on walking uh, some doors uh, is not going to be open until we get there uh, when we get to the door uh, when we get to the door, that's when the door is going to swing open. But the door is prophetic. The door God said, I set before you an open door. You cannot see that door in the natural. You got to see that door in the spiritual. You got to see that door in the supernatural. When you walk up to the door, then the door will swing open. And you will see all what is behind the door. I right hear the Holy Ghost said there's an abundance behind the door. There's great increase behind the door. Great supply behind the door. But we got to walk to the door. We got to approach the door. Oh, we got to head. In Acts chapter 12, in Acts chapter 12, in Acts chapter 12, the Bible said it was the angel and Peter. First, it was the angel by himself. <laughs> But secondly, it was the angel and Peter. <laughs> and the Bible, the Bible, the Bible, the Bible said the doors were shut. The doors were shut. The doors were shut. <laughs> and the, 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 the jailers, the jailers kept the doors. <laughs> the jailers kept the doors. <laughs> and the, 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 the jailers uh, uh, set a watch. <laughs> and Peter uh, was in the inner prison. <laughs> but while Peter was in the inner prison, <laughs> A prophetic word came in the inner prison. So Peter said, Peter, I have set before you an open, an open, an open, an open door, an open door. The angel entering to the prison cell where Peter was. The Bible said Peter was asleep. The angel slapped up Peter on his side. The angel wake up Peter. I hear the Holy Ghost said, somebody angel is in the house today. Somebody angel has been released. Somebody angel angel has come down. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. You are coming out, you are coming out, you are coming out. You are coming out. I said you are coming out. Never mind what Herod is saying. Never mind what the enemies are saying. Never mind what they are decree and declaring. Never mind what they are plotting and planning. You are coming out, you are coming out, you are coming out.
coming out. You are coming out today. For in Mount Zion, in Mount Zion, I said, God, there shall be deliverance. And in Jerusalem, there shall be deliverance. You are coming out. And the Bible, the Bible, the Bible. The Bible said Peter got up. Peter got up and put on his sandal. The gates were still locked, Brother Adrian. The gates were still locked. Understand something here. That the gate did not have to be opened to let the angel in. The Bible said the angels enter in. With the gates, the doors, still shut. But in order for Peter to come out, Peter cannot come out with the door shut. Because Peter was not yet in the supernatural. The angel came in the supernatural. So the angels could have entered in without the doors being open. But in order for Peter to come out, Peter cannot come out if the doors are not open. If somebody will understand today that God cannot get us out until the doors are open. And when God opened the doors, God still cannot get us out until we walk through the doors and walk out of the doors. Oh, glory to God. Peter could have stood there again with the angel saying the doors are shut. The prison, the, 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 the guards are there. We cannot get out. We are locked in. But the Bible said Peter got up and Peter started to walk. Hey, 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 hey. Peter started to walk with the angel. And as they get to one door, as they get to one door, the Bible said as they walk up to the door, the door swing open high. And they got to another door. And as they get to that door, the door swing open. And there was another door that leaned out to the street. When they got to that door, that door swung open. And they walk out and cross the street and head on home. Glory to God. I hear the Holy Ghost said, my people Brother Sammy, can I tell you what the Lord told me? The Lord told me that what if, what if is my people will cheer? What if, what if is my people will cheer? What if is my people wheelchair? Because God said every time I show up, every time I appear to my people with a life-changing opportunity to get them out of their situation, they said the what if. What if the gate don't open? What if the doors don't open? What's going to happen? What if I lose my job? What's going to happen? What if I take sick? What's going to happen? How am I going to pay back the money? What if? What if I get married and my marriage didn't work? Leave me alone. Let me stay single. But what if I get married and you leave me? What if I open the business and no customer come? What if I open my business and I get robbed? What 
What if I buy the house and it end up foreclosed on me? Because I lose my job. What if, what if, what if we live our lives in the wheelchair at what if? And every good opportunity that God presented to us, we brush it off with what if. We turn it aside with what if. But I start by to say today that what if is our poverty, but our faith is our riches. What if is our poverty, but our faith is our riches. And the promise is not by what if, the promise is by faith. And we want to see the evidence before we can move. But the Bible said those who receive the blessing are the fulfillment is the one who moves by faith without knowing the outcome but they move by faith and our faith is our riches and our what if is our poverty my faith is not an opinionated faith my faith that I have is not an opinionated faith. Many believers' faith, it is opinionated. So when God presented himself to them with great opportunities, what do they do? They go and consult with, with dream stealers and destiny killers seeking the opinion of dream stealers and destiny blockers what shall i do i need your opinion and their opinion is what if their opinion is what if so my faith that i have i don't seek opinion i don't seek opinion to confirm my faith. Because the word of God is not an opinion. The word of God, they are yea and amen. The word of God, they are not man's opinion. And when I receive a word from God, I need no other opinion. Advise our views. I'm going to move according to the word of the Lord. By the word of the Lord, they are prophetic and they are yea and they are amen. Ah, our what if kill us. Uh, because what they have tell us, we pray already. God answer already. God open the door already. God created the opportunity already. But what if tell us to go back and pray? I got to pray about it. I got to pray about it. And while we are praying about it, somebody else is running with the opportunity. By the time we finish pray, the opportunity already gone. The opportunity already gone. Can I say to somebody that the word of God is not an idea? The word of God is not an idea. So when I receive a word from the Lord, nobody can come and tell me whether or not it's a good idea or a bad idea. Because a word from God, a word from God, God, a word from God is life and hope. A word from God is riches. A word from God is prosperity. A word from God is open door. A word from God, and God has opened the heavens, and God is releasing the riches and the wealth of the wicked. But many of God's people will miss it because of what if, what if, what if, because they are waiting for God to come and deposit it in their bank account but God to come and place it in their hands but the last time I read the Bible the Bible said we're going to have to believe for it we're going to have to fight for it we're going to have to trust for it we're going to have to pray for it we're going to have to labor for it it's not going to come easy but 
But we believe, we believe that God is just going to come and show up and deposit it in our accounts. No, 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 no. The promise is by faith. The promise is by faith. Let me talk to the church. The promise is by faith. Sister Sharika, where others doubt, we have to believe. Where others walk, we have to stay. Where others leave, we have to remain. Oh, glory to God. Because our walk is by faith. Our faith is our riches. Our faith is our hope. Our faith is our life. Where others are afraid, we are filled with confidence and assurance. For our fear is our wheelchair. Our fear is our wheelchair. Ten tribes, ten out of the twelve tribes, they were left sitting in their wheelchair of fear. They could not move. They could not go up. They could not possess because they were crippled by fear. And they sat in a wheelchair of fear. Not because the promise were not real. Not because their God was not real. Not because their God was not able uh, to say, uh, to help them to slay the giants and to take over the land. But because they were afraid, they were afraid, they were afraid. So they said, what if, what if, what if? Gideon has 32,000 soldiers. 31,700 are saying, what if we go up? and fight against these men and they kill us what if we lose what if they destroy us what if we didn't win God said send them home Mr. Michel God said all those who are saying what if send them home for 22,000 were saying what if God said, send them home. 10,000 was left. But among the 10,000, there were still many with reservations in their faith. Many with reservation, many with uncertainty, many who was not quite sure, many who was not confident. God said, we still have to put them through another test. We have to put them uh, through another test. Uh, hear me, hear me, hear me. The blessing comes through test. The blessing uh, comes through test. The blessing comes through test. After the test, after we have passed the test, so God said, carry them down to the waters. And those who love water, Water, put them one side. Those who put down sewer and bend down and drink, put them one side. Ah, 9,700 more went home. Ah, 300. And unfortunately, unfortunately, God said that the majority of his people will miss the blessing because they are sitting in the wheelchair of what if, but not me. Not me. Not me. This bishop will be rich. My riches will not come from tithes and offering or handout. My riches will come through faith to invest and faith to possess and faith to take charge and faith to have. My riches will come from faith to borrow money and go to my bed and don't sleep. Uh, what if folk said, I hold too much money already. What if I'm not able to pay back this money? Lend it to me, lend it to me, lend it to Bishop. If you have the offer, just call Bishop. If you have the offer and you're nervous, call Bishop. Lend it to Bishop. Bishop will pay it back. Bishop will pay because Bishop is not afraid. And Bishop is not worrying about how it is going to be paid back. Bishop knows that it will be a paid back. If I can tell you, if I can tell you that between rent and mortgages, between rent and mortgages, every month, every month we pay over $45,000 between rent and properties for the church, for businesses, 
and houses. We pay out over $45,000 every month in rent and mortgage. Can I say that outside of forbearance, we are current with everything. And will always be current because I don't have a what if faith. I have a richest faith. So when I take on responsibilities, I don't take them on with what if, but I take them on believing that the God who said he will supply all our needs according to his riches in glory. So when the next property becomes available, as long as I can get the money, I will be going for it. For we walk by faith. We walk by faith. We walk by faith and not by sight. We take God at his words. We believe what he said is true. upon the word for hear what he said be glad ye children of Zion and rejoice in the Lord your God for he has given you the former rain who 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 is giving the rain I tell you I tell you there are some money that is hold to us there are some wages that is hold to us that God promised that will be paid off to us God promised that will be there are some rain that we should have gotten that we did not receive there are some rays that we should have gotten that we did not receive and God promised that he's going to return to us he's going to be given back to us but the way that we are respecting it is not the way it's going to come so we got to be open to faith we got to be open to faith because God is coming to a different door. God is opening a different door. God is leading us into a different door. So we got to be open and ready to walk in whatever door that God will lead us to walk in. I said, I Jehovah not the angels, not your bishop, and not your friend, and not your counselors, not your lawyers, but I, the Lord God Jehovah will cause to come upon you the former rain, the rain that you miss. God said, I Jehovah will cause it to come upon you. Stop looking to man. Stop consulting with man. Stop seeking the opinion of man and trust God and look to God and call upon God and believe God. But God said, I am the one that is going to cause the reign of prosperity and the reign of wealth and the reign of increase and the reign of success. to come. Be glad, the children of Zion, and rejoice in the Lord your God, for has given you the former rain moderately, and it will cause to come down for the rain, the former rain, and the latter rain in the first month. Tell somebody, stop looking out. Tell somebody, stop looking out. When folks want to work witchcraft, they say they are going to look out. They're going to look out. The Bible says stop looking out and start looking up. For the rain come from up. The rain come from up. The rain come from up. When I when Elijah, when Elijah sent Obadiah, Elijah told Obadiah to go and look up. Not to look out or look down, but go and look up. For the rain comes from above. The psalmist said, All of my help cometh from the Lord, which made the heavens. I'm looking up. I'm looking up from whence my help. I'm seeing the clouds gathering. I'm seeing the clouds. I'm seeing the clouds by faith. I'm seeing the clouds gathering and I'm seeing the rain. Oh, I can smell the breeze. Hey, I can smell. I can hear the sound. Our God said, I am about to release the former rain and the latter rain. I'm about to release all the rain together upon you. And the floor shall be full of wheat. And the fat shall overflow with wine and oil. Abundance of increase. For new doors have been opened. New doors have been. And I will restore to you the years that the locust has eaten. 
the canker worm and the palmer worm. Oh, and the caterpillar. I will restore to you. I have an announcement to make. I have an announcement to make. And the announcement is that my worms have died. My worms have died. My worms have been executed. My worms have been consumed by prayer. My worms have been consumed by faith. My worms have been consumed by trust in my God. My worms have been removed because I sanctify myself. I cleanse myself. I purge myself. I connect myself to a relationship with my God. My worms have died. No more will they eat on. No more will they eat on. For they, are di they have died. I know many people miss it. But the Bible said God was the one who sent the worms. That's what the Bible said. God. It wasn't the devil. It wasn't the devil that sent the worms. It wasn't the enemies that sent the worms. The Bible said God sent the worms. Hear what the Bible said. Hear what the Bible said. The Bible said. The Bible said. I will. I will restore to you the years that the locusts have eaten. It's in their belly. The canker worm is in their belly. Our inheritance. And the caterpillar, it is in their belly. And the palmer worm, it is in their belly. My great army, my great army, which I sent among you. God said, I send them among you to punish you. I send them among you because of your rebellion and your, 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 your stubbornness and your unfaithfulness and your what if next. I send it among you. But God said, know that you have taken care of things. Know that you have fixed things. Know that you are putting things together. Know that you have sanctified yourself. Know that you have consecrated yourself. Know that you have, you have moved past what if I'm moving to faith. I am ready to remove the worms. I'm ready to get rid of the worms. I'm ready to take away the worms. And I'm ready to give you back all what the worms has eaten. I hear the Holy Ghost said as I close this message today. I hear the Holy Ghost said new doors, new doors, new New doors, new doors, new doors, new doors. God said, if I can find a people who will walk into these doors, I will restore to them the years that have been eaten, the years that have been destroyed, the years that have been swallowed up. Hey, if I can find a people who will move past, what if I will restore the years, but it needs faith. The Lord has troubled the market. The Lord has troubled the market. And the Lord said we will live in houses that we never build. And we'll own lands. We'll own institutions. And God has troubled the market. And in the realms of the spirit, there's about to be a great shift. There's about to be a great shift. I said there's about to be a great shift. And if God can find some people who will believe for the shift and walk into the doors when it's shifted open and walk in and possess and walk in and own and walk in and occupy and walk in by faith. I hear the Holy Ghost said, get your credit ready. Get your credit ready. Clean up your credit. Get your credit ready. There's about to be a shift. There's about to be a shift. A fulfillment of prophecy. I prophesy over your life. I prophesy for God said you shall eat in plenty and you shall eat all of us and you shall eat in abundance and you shall be satisfied. Oh say the Lord God Jehovah you shall eat in plenty or God said I will cause it to come down upon you in abundance in abundance in abundance. Hey can I say to God's people, our faith is our 
our riches, our what if is our poverty. Wake up and move past what if and pick up faith and trust God and believe God and let God release upon you the blessing. I know a nation, I know a nation who owns many properties, many properties, many institutions, and they own the banks, millions upon millions of dollars, but every day they are looking for the next property. You don't know them, but I know them. Every day. They are searching the newspaper, looking for the next property to borrow some more money, to buy more properties. Can I tell you when these high-rise buildings, when they were selling for cheap, the city was selling them out for a dollar. The city was practically giving away these high-rise buildings. Do you know what our folks said? I don't want those buildings because what if the people don't pay me? I'm not taking on that. What if the tenants don't pay? So we who could have been the owner. Because our four parents lived in a place called what if we end up the tenants? Because there was another people who did not say what if, but they said even though some may not pay, but some will pay. And we will work out ahead because the property will increase in value. Our faith is our riches, but our what if is our poverty. Our what if is our poverty. Glory to God. I have testimonies. I remember, I remember when we were supposed to move from the first location and to move to Utica Avenue. I had a whole lot of what if folks. A lot of what if folks. And a lot of what if folks left the ministry. Give me a minute here. A lot of what if folks left the ministry. We needed a lot of money to fix the place. Because a lot of work needed to be done to bring the building to the place where we could have used it to worship. So a lot of what if folks left the ministry because they did not see the possibilities. But God has already blessed me and my late wife with a three family house at 370 East 32nd Street. By then, we had already purchased the house in Canarsie, and we had already left there and rented that property out. My wife and I consulted that we would sell the house. We would sell the house and use the money to fix the building, to fix the building. And so we did. We sold the house and we fixed the building. And God bless us in the building. Those of us who are in this house from Utica Avenue will know that God bless us in the building at Utica Avenue. And the church flourish in the building of Utica Avenue. Not because of what if, but because of faith. When the door was open for us to get this property, we have a lot of what if folks at Utica Avenue again who said we don't need another property and what if, what if, what if and many more folks left the ministry because of what if but faith is our riches and we went by faith I said we went by faith and we got it, we got it, we got it, we got it, we got it. And God bless us at Remsen. God bless us at Remsen. 
I said, God is still blessing us at Revs. I am saying, the writer said, blind unbelief is sure to err and scourge his work in vain. The bud may have a bitter taste, but sweet will be the flower. Uh, that young lady over there, yes, you, yes, you, 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 yeah. Stand up, stand up. Stand up, stand up, yes, yes. I hear it, I hear it, I hear it. The Holy Ghost said the bud may have a bitter taste. <laughs> The bud may have a bitter taste, but sweet will be the flower. Sweet will be the flower. I hear the Holy Ghost say God is turning some things and God is shifting some things. And, 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 and I hear the Holy Ghost say the hurt down here, the hurt down here. The hurt down here that God is working on the hurt. That God is working on the hurt. And God is healing the hurt. And God is taking care of the hurt. And, and I hear the Holy Ghost say to tell you that it's going to be well. It's going to be well. But God's about to lift up your head above your enemies wrong about you that your enemies will have to ask the question is that her is that her is that her yes is she is she look what oh look what the lord i release a prophetic word in your life i release a prophetic word upon you today hey that every circumstances and situation that now crowd you to suffocate you i attack and rebuke and blood up and confirm and liberate and loose and deliver you i release upon you this Say that you shall eat in plenty and be satisfied, and you will never be ashamed. Oh, sin! No weapon, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. For I open wildfire against every assignment and every device. Every disappointment. Every disappointment. God is turning it into an appointment. Every disappointment. God is turning it into an appointment. Everything that breaks your heart, God is turning it into appointment. God is shifting some things. God is turning around. Uh, God is opening some new doors. Oh, glory to God. Uh, God is opening some new doors. And that which the enemy has plotted and planned will never happen and will never come to pass. You will never live your life in depression. But you will live your life in happiness. For God said, I'm turning your night of weeping into morning joy. Oh, say the Lord God. Jehovah, for the spirit of heaviness has been rebuked, confounded, defeated, and destroyed. For he's the lifter up of your head and the hope of your glory. I prophesy in your life today. I release. Demons and devils and principalities and powers know that I'm a clean vessel. They know that I'm a clean vessel. And I know I, they know I release clean water. And I release clean and fresh water in your life today. Waters at your root. <laughs> waters. <laughs> Holy Ghost waters. Living water. Life changing water. But you shall come rejoicing. You shall come rejoicing. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. I've seen a lot of things, but I, I won't say everything that the Lord has shown me. But I'm seeing a lot of jealousy and a lot of envy around you. And I'm seeing a lot of arrows because of jealousy and because of envy. But I hear God said, he got you, he got you, he got you covered. He got you covered, he got you covered. For they shall come one way, but they will scatter seven ways. They will scatter, and today I build up the defense of protection around you. I build up the line of protection around you. And I anoint your head with fresh oil, and I fill your cup and run it over. And God said to tell 
here that those who wait to rejoice will be ashamed for you will never be ashamed for every evil petition has been blocked denied cancelled and confounded in the name of Sir, stand up. Yes, you're in the white man. You're in the in the in the white man. Ah. When my way goeth clear, precious Lord, linger near, linger near, linger near. <laughs> when my hope is almost gone. <laughs> when the storms of life are raging and the billows are dashing and spraying. The writer said in the midst of tribulation is stand up by me. In the midst of fuss and failure, oh stand by. When my hope is almost gone, when my dreams are shattered, oh stand by me. Me. I hear God say to tell you, man of God, he is standing by you. He is standing by you for our afflictions, our afflictions and our persecutions is our testimony, is our testimony. And God said he's bringing you through with a testimony and your head will be anointed with fresh oil and you will find new doors. Ah, you will find new doors and you will soar to higher heights and deeper depths uh, because the prophetic word of God had just canceled some assignments uh, and some destroy some devices uh, and clear some blockages uh, and open some new doors uh, I release upon you today a fresh download and fresh oil uh, and fresh fire oh say the Lord God Jehovah I surround you and I wrap you I surround you and I wrap you. Every antagonizing spirit, every suffocating spirit, suffocating your finances, suffocating your glory, suffocating your future, I open fire today. Oh, somebody help me open fire upon every suffocating spirit. Have a suffocating spirit. I blood it up and release. I release it. I release it. I release it in the name. Oh, mighty God. You know what the Lord just showed me? You know what the Lord just showed me? I had, I had a flower pot here. I had a pot here. And there was a big plant in this pot. There was a big plant in this pot, but the plant died. The plant died because the plant was in the house and the plant wanted sunlight. If the plant was on the outside, the plant would have lived. I hear the Holy Ghost say, God is transferring you out into the sunlight. Out into the sunlight. For where they have placed you, they place you there to die. But God said, today I am transferring you out into the sun. A God transferred Joseph out of the pit into the prime minister's chair. And God said, he's transferring you today into the sunlight. Receive the blessing. Receive the blessing. I release it upon your family today. I release it upon your family. I end the cycle. I end the cycle. I end the cycle. I speak as a prophet of God. I end the cycle. I rebuke the cycle. I blood the cycle. I speak as the prophet of God. Of today I shall decree and declare a thing and it shall 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 brother David brother David you and your wife stand you and your wife stand where you are just stand right where you are I release today Sister and Marie stand also I release today God said he has given you both hands to possess 
hands to possess. Uh, and I hear, I hear, I hear the Holy Ghost say, and whatsoever you do it shall prosper. I hear the Holy Ghost say, whatsoever you do it shall prosper. For God said, I've given you hands. I've given you hands to possess. And he said, your leaves also shall not wither. And whatsoever you do it shall prosper. I hear God said, ah, new doors of prosperity, new doors of favor, new doors of blessings. Because you have the faith and you have the hands. Oh, that somebody would stretch their hands and release it upon them today. New testimonies, new doors, new blessings, and new glory be released in the realms and in the supernatural. For they are not afraid. They are not afraid. They are not afraid. Some folks are afraid, but they are not afraid. They are filled with confidence. And God said, he's looking for people with confidence who is not afraid. I bless you both. Bless the family. I release, I release, I release that man, you, sir, over there, sitting behind the young lady that I prophesied to first. Yes, yes, you stand, stand. You stand right where you are. For you have come to the God of the open doors. You have come to the God of the open doors. And there are some things that have been following you, and they are, they are generational. There are some things that have been following you, and they are generational. And they are following you too close. They are following you too close. And because they are following you so close, many things have been tied up, and many things are in delay. But I hear the Holy Ghost said, God has established a thing for his people that is called surely goodness and mercy that shall follow us all the days of our lives. Goodness and mercy separates us from evil. So today I release the prophetic word of goodness and mercy to follow you and to, to set up a, a dividing line against evil Evil, that evil will no longer be able to come so close to touch your inheritance, your future, and your prosperity. But goodness and mercy will block them and stop them and defeat them. And goodness and mercy will follow you all the day. Calabosha. I hear the Holy Ghost said, new door, new door, new door, new walk, new blessings, new future, new glory. Ah. <laughs> I prophesy over your life. I prophesy over your life. I prophesy over your family. I prophesy over your life. I prophesy over your, your family. I release your marital glory. I release your marital glory. I release your inheritance. I release your future. I release your properties. I release your increase. I release your oil. <laughs> I release your fig tree. I release your vine. I release your wine. I release all that which is in God's word for you today. As his prophetic servant, I stand in this house today and I release within you and open you an abundance. I open wildfire upon every following demon. The 34th Psalm said, evil pursue the just. Evil pursue the just and seek it to slay him. The word pursue means to follow after vigorously, uh, to run after vigorously. Pursue means uh, that somebody is pursuing you. They are coming after you vigorously to kill you. Evil pursue the just and seek it to slay him. But between evil and the just, there is a thing called goodness and mercy that is following us as a blocking and stopping evil oh, from overtaking I release goodness and mercy upon your life, over the house over radio land, over social media over the homes and the lives and the businesses of God's people I release over you surely goodness surely goodness surely goodness surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives and we will dwell we will dwell i'm closing but we will dwell we will dwell we will dwell and we will abide in the house of the lord forever if you have water bottle or oil and you like me to pray 
Just stand where you are and hold it up and hold it up. If you're in the house and you're not saved, you need to be saved. You need to be saved. For God is looking for saved people to bless them. God is looking for saved people to take them into heaven with him. God is looking for saved people to deliver them from going to hell. So if you're not saved, you need to be saved. So just stand where you are. Let me pray for you and pray with you because you need to be saved. Otherwise, you will go to hell. Only saved people can go to heaven. Amen. Somebody, somebody, you need to be saved. If you are not saved, you will go to hell. You will stay right in the church and go to hell. If you are not saved, only saved people, only people who are born again can go to heaven. If you are not born again, stand we answer, preacher, pray for me that God will save me. And I will not go to hell. Hallelujah. 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 Father, bless this battle of horn today. Release a full flow of your every burden, end every cycle, clear every blockage, pull down every stronghold. Release unto them, God, that which you have in store. Restore the ears, restore the ears. Release the rain. Release everything that you have promised, O oh God, for you said you will cause it to come down in abundance. Lead us into the season and the time and the place of an abundance. Almighty oh, God, by your spirit and by your blood, by your anointing, ha! Hey, 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 by your power, we cripple the works of darkness. We cripple the will of the enemies. We cripple principalities and powers. We curse them by the name of our God. And we bring them down as you brought down Goliath. We bring down. Bless your people today as we leave from here, God. Let your grace, let your grace be with us. Abide with us. Rest remain. Oh, God, and give us victory continually. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Amen, amen. We are going to have the announcement.